Hi students and welcome to the book Old Story Time by Trevor Rohn. This edition is the CSEC Students edition. We will begin at Act 1, Scene 1. The stage and auditorium go to black. In the darkness, we hear the actors singing a quiet, lyrical folk song. Very soon, we see the glow of Pa Ben's lantern, Pa Ben, over the singing. Old story time, old story time. He, as he enters the auditorium, the light comes up fully on him. Evening one and all, everybody arty. What happened? You people mouth join church or what? You don't have voice to answer me. Everybody arty? The actors respond, yes, Papen, that's better. Make yourselves comfortable on them nice chairs. You people lucky. Years ago when I was a boy, I used to go to listen to story. It was never in no fancy place like this. With all them pretty fandangles, pretty lights and whatnot. No, sir. The actors in the play start appearing from various directions and start moving to the storyteller's area. When they, when they will become Pa Ben's immediate audience. On an evening in the district, we would gather at the village square. Everybody gather on the shop piazza. Some sit on old drum, others on old cocos bag filled with salt. Everybody chatting and meddling in people's business. Others giving remembrance to who dead the week before. Who saw the ghost and what not. And my father was a cheese storyteller when him feeling the mood. Parben leaves the auditorium and goes to and goes up to his storytelling area. But I tell you, give him a bottle of whites and two twos, him was slap bang in the mood. Hehem. <laughs> Villagers and actors. Him clear him throat, Parben. And that was the signal to launch into a story. Who present would run go call the rest? Actress who will play Lois. Running to call off. Parben ready, run come, story time, Parben. And my father would wax warm. He mind pon the story and one eye pon the young gal them. Ah oh boy, those were the days. Yes, I can still hear the bamboo clarinet and the fife a whistle and the drum a lick. And I can still see myself dress up in all my finery, stepping into the dance yard. He reenacts the memory. And in those days, they had a new fancy dance called the corkscrew. And, what, and I was the champion corkscrewer. He dances, much to the delight of his audience who tease him. Watch your back, Pa Ben. Careful, Pa Ben, etc. If any of you young girls down there don't believe me, then meet me when the story done. Yes, those were the days. Good times and bad times. No opportunity for us black people. No water, no road, no electric light. Sweet mode politician promised to bring down the moon, cut it up and hang it on stick so we could read Bible when night come. Ah, oh boy, 60 years later, they don't even cut the stick yet. Ah, oh well, that is another story. Actor who will play George. So you used to read. Pa Ben, with my bottle lamp. And in war days when oil short, I catch two firefly, put them in a bottle, light up the place same way. Ah, oh boy. War days, no flour, no salt fish, no soap. The shop's empty, but that too is another story. Actress who will play Pearl. Howdy, Pa Ben, as she comes in. Pa Ben, all well, all well, come sit down. I'm ready for you. Open this for me, giving her his bottle of white rum. The tongue not fully oil yet, but I'm going to begin. Pearl returns the open bottle to Pa Ben. He takes a big swing to more comments from the audience. Mind your rotten your liver. Him don't have no liver, etc. The over 100% proof rum makes him temporarily lose his voice, but he quickly recovers. 
he signaled to the actress who will play Mama. They whisper momentarily as she goes off. I did live in a certain big yard, next door to some of the people who the story concern. So you see, I have first-hand knowledge. What I don't know as a fact, I will make up as I go along. And if I can't do it by myself, my friend here will help me. Indicating his rum bottle. Now, how the tune go again? Actress who will play Pearl. Me know, me know. She jumps up immediately and starts to sing a very up-tempo blues version of the folk song with much body gyration. Once upon a time, there was a merry old time. The monkey chewed tobacco and he spit white lime. The actors and villagers listen to the version of the song bemused. Pabin. That is not the tune. Actor who will play George. No, but it's so nice. They all join in. The bullfrog jump from bank to bank. They start going off. Pabin. And he never touch water, he chants. All story time, all story time, as he goes into his house. The lights came up on the rest of the stage as Mama endearingly calls Miss Aggie by Pa Ben and Miss G by others enters dressed in a market wear. A basket sits on top of her head. She carries another in her hand. She looks tired as if at the end of a long journey. She comes on, sets her basket down on the bench, then calls, Len, don't tell me I'm not here. Lenny, watch me and him today. Leonard, after I tell him to stay in the house and study him book, she starts looking around the yard for him. He make me come back and don't find him in the yard. She calls out once more, Leonard, pause, Leonard, Pa Ben, Pa Ben, she calls across the yard, Pa Ben, Oi, Mama, you yes, see Leonard, Pa Ben, I think him went to market with you, Mama, no, I left him here to study in book, Pa Ben, him about, so how was market, Mama, couldn't be worse this week. I had to give away half of the things just so I never had to carry them back. And like a bad luck, the damn jackass foot got lame up on me and me had to trot the 10 miles come home. Pabin, Lord, Mama, what to do? Anyway, I bring something for you, Pabin. Is what? Mama, wait now. She digs into her basket. He cleans his hands in his clothes in anticipation. She hands him a big hymn book. Pabin, for me? Thank you. He opens the book. Nice print. A hymn catches his eyes and he sings. Rock of ages, clef for me. Mama, so you're going to service tomorrow? Pabin, and not to make up my mind yet. He goes into his little house. Mama, is Ford Sunday, so Reverend Greaves should come up, Pa Ben. Then I have to try and go. Mama, as she watches him off, as she watches him go off. Try, old devil, I'm going down the road to look if I, to look if I see the one Leonard. She takes the market basket off stage. Pa Ben, he opens his window and looks out at her. Buy penny oil, a penny salt. And quatty bread for me. See the money here. Taking out the handkerchief. The money is securely knotted in it. Mama, all right. Where I leave the switch? As she hunts around for it. Pabin, no worry, beat him. Mama, if him can't hear, him must feel. As she is going off. Is, is you help spoil him? Pabin, Lord. Harass the poor boy, so mama, as she is leaving, she sees a switch on the lower level. Ah, sit here, wait till I catch up on him. I'm going to score his behind for him this evening. Pabin speaking directly to the audience. 
If I had my wits about me, I would save the boy a licking that evening. I should tell him, mother, that is me send him out. I have to find him before she catch up with him. Lenny, as he go off calling, mama can also be heard calling off stage. Leonard! Len chases Pearl on from up left. He catches up with her and touches her on the bosom. Len, touch, both laughing like mad. Okay, your time. Pearl, all right. Len, come on then. He presents his pelvic area for her to touch. Feigns at touching, then suddenly lunges at him. Touch, Len, you never touch. Pearl, touch. Len, I finish play. Pearl, you have to go home? Len, no. Pearl, your mother must be soon come from market. Len, so? Pearl, I know what will happen if she come home and don't find you. Len, she can't do me nothing. Pearl, except tie you to the bed head and murder you. Len, tie who? Pearl, you same one. Go on like you is a big man. Len, big man? Yes. Pearl, in your pants. Len, you want to see it? He chases her threateningly. Pearl, you're too rude. Play bad when your mother not around. It's only because she gone to market why you managed to thief out. Len, I don't have to thief out. Pearl, so you say. But everybody noticed how since you get to go to the high school, how she's strict with you. More than ever. Like she don't want you to mash ants. You must just prims. It's like you're turning into a real high posh. Highty tighty. I'll drudge shoes. Len, you see me have on shoes? Pearl, you hide them up the road, man. When it's time to go home, you put them on. Go home. Len, I go home when I'm ready. Pearl, all right. Come we go down by the river. As she walks and stands directly in front of him, their bodies are very close. They are both laughing. Len, so come we go. Pearl, I don't want your mother to beat you, you know. As she pushes herself even closer to him. Len, last one to reach is a dead dog. They race off, then freeze on the spot. When they break the freeze, they are in the river, playing away, commenting on how cold the water is, accusing each other of wetting each other's hair, etc. Mama appears behind them. Mama, Jesus, save your pile at me. The plane sees immediately. Pearl scampers off. Len attempts to run away. Don't bother run. If you run, I murder you tonight. Come here. He comes slowly and tentatively towards her. She grabs him. Don't I tell you not to leave the house? Don't I tell you to stay in the house and study your books? Len, I was studying all morning, Mama. I just come out for a little breeze. Mama, well then, feel the breeze as she beats him. Don't, I tell you, don't mix up, don't carouse. Who is this gal? Len, is Miss Esmeralda daughter, Pearl, Mama. Mama, Pearl, and what is she to you? Len, she is my friend, Mama. Mama, Miss Esmeralda frowns a tail, jigger foot, broad head gal is your friend? Where is your ambition? You don't have any ambition. After a struggle, my soul case to send you to send you to Big Shot High School. You come home, come mix up with that little dry head gal. How much time I must tell you? Don't mix up with the little dirty black gal them in the district. How much time I must tell you? Anything black no good. She is no advancement. It look like I will have to beat it into you. She drags him up. I will hang you, you know. Them little dry head girl, I will drag you down. As she pushes him to the ground again. You think I treat her like this? I only want the best for you. 
Trust mama, mama knows best. Leave out the dirty black girl them. Concentrate on your books, for life is hard when you're black, but with a little education, you still have a chance. When time come for you to have a girlfriend, I have a nice girl pick out for you. Miss Margaret, Reverend Greaves' daughter, a nice brown girl with tall hair down her back. She's advancement, you hear me? She picks him up, Len. Yes, mama. Mama shoves him off home. As they are going, she continues. Mama, Miss Margaret, you hear what I tell you? Miss Margaret, Miss Margaret. Len, yes, mama, as she hits him a series of blows going off. Pabin, coming on to his area. Miss Margaret, Miss Margaret, that's all could ring in the boy's ears. Year after year, Miss Margaret, like a drum. He comes directly down to the audience. You have to understand, Miss Aggie. She wouldn't even have a black chicken in her yard. One chop off with his head. Miss Margaret was like an obsession with her. The years went by and the boys and the boys study him books day and night and him pass all him exams with flying colours. Yet still him couldn't get a job in the bank. But later for that. One day I happened to be in the next district, about three miles from here. And I happened to see the boy with a pretty black girl. With two eyes make four. And him begged me not to say anything to him mother. And I kept him secret. In fact, I become him confederate. Carry message, arrange meetings, that sort of thing. Till one day the boy announced him get scholarship to go foreign to further in studies. Three or four weeks after him leave, the pretty black girl sent to call me. Miss Lewis was her name, and she gave me a letter from Miss Lenny, telling me thanks for everything. One thing him begged me, don't tell him mother say I hear from him. It was a hard secret to keep, but I couldn't break it. As the months went by, Miss Aggie still got no proper word from the boy. She worried till she had take sick. Mama enters through the door, upright, looking sick and forlorn. She sits on the low bench with her back to the audience. But, I, but still, I had to hold my tongue. Why was he carrying feelings for her? All I could do was to try comfort her. He leaves the lower area and goes towards his house, calling out to her. Miss Aggie, Mama. How you doing, Pa Ben? Pa Ben, all well, all well. He continues into his house to get a basket of peas and return almost immediately. How is the feeling on you? Mama, so, so, thank God. She leaves her area and comes over to him. Pa Ben, you went back to the doctor? He sits on a chair beside his little house and starts to shell the peas. Waste my money and go. Him say is all in my mind. Worrying nation. Yes, is a bad sickness. Stop fret yourself. Miss Eleni is so right. Mama, I convinced more and more says something bad happened to him. She sits on a stool beside him and start to help him shell the peas. Pardon. No, not nothing. Me sure of that. Mama, how you so sure? Pardon. Me just sure. Mama, then why him not right? He's over a year now since him gone, and all I get is one postcard saying reach. Lord of mercy. Pabin, no cry. Mama, I worry, I fret, I pray. Pabin, he's all right. Mama, Mas Lenny wouldn't neglect me so. Him know I would be worried. All sorts of things going through me head. I wonder if him dead. Pabin, not think that. Mama, the only other thing left for me think is that, Lord. Pabin, what now? Mama, say that somebody in the district burn a candle on his head. Pabin, Miss G, shame on you. Who in the district would do a thing like that? 
He goes off to the little storage area by his house to look for his tobacco. Mama, plenty of them right here. Smile up with me to my face. But in the heart, they malice me off. Jealous say my son doing too well. Me no forget the time when him did win the scholarship to go high school. Now he get scholarship again gone to university. They will do anything to bring me down. Me not trust them. Pa Ben, you suspect anybody in particular? Mama, everybody. Them we do it. Pa Ben, me too. Mama, except you. The girl Pearl, whom we, whom we saw as Len's playmate, goes by the house. She is now no longer young and lively, but a broken down shell for her old self, pregnant and very laden down. She crosses the stage on the lower level during her conversation with Mama. Pearl, how do Miss G? Mama, is all that now? Pa Ben, I don't catch the voice. Pearl, how the Pa Ben? Pa Ben, all well, all well. Pearl, how the feeling on you, Mama? Mama, bearing up. Pearl, stopping to ask, and how Massa Lenny when you're here? Mama, oh, could it be better? Got a letter from him only last week, doing well with him lesson, said to tell everybody how the Pearl, thank him. Mom, and when you're right, say we all proud of him, and he must take care of himself. Mama, I will tell him. Pearl, all right then, Mama. Be gone again, Mama. What good? As Pearl goes off, Pa Ben looks at Mama in amazement. It hurt me so case to tell lie, but what else me can do? Me no want them to spread it around the district saying dash me way. We just have to keep up the pretense. Pabin, me understand. Is who the person? Mama, me says Marilda daughter, the one they call Pearl. Pabin, she? I thought the face looked familiar, like somebody me know. But what a way she mash up. No young smaddy. Mama, bad life. Pabin, eh? Mama, butter, butter. She butter, butter. Me don't know why she asking me for Marcelin. After they no quabs. Pa Ben, she mash up bad. No person the same age as Marcelin. Mama, few months apart. She no more than 20 years see her there. So the old careless boy and them lash her is so she breed. A five children she have so far. And it looked to me as if she going up again. Pa Ben, yes. It looked to me as if she taking spring. The young girls of today don't know when to lock them leg. He rests his hand on Mama's thigh. She looks at him, then removes it. Mama, when me look on her and think that if me never did fight and struggle with the one Marcelin, I know him would have been knocking about the district at turn worthless like the rest of them. Pa Ben, you put him in the right direction. You finish? Taking the basket with the peas. Mama, aye. He takes the basket into his house. The one thing leave to complete him now is for him to marry to a nice brown girl with hair down to her back. That me pick out for him. Pa ben opens the window and looks out at her. Your mind still stead on Reverend daughter, eh? Mama, is me dream. What a excitement that would be in the district. Banquet upon banquet. Is then the people them in the district would malice me off. Pa Ben returns and stand by his open door. Miss Eleni did intimate anything about Miss Margaret before him leave. Mama, we did pray him, but him never say much. Pa Ben, what him say exactly? Mama, well, when we did pray him, all I could hear him say was, Ah, why say mama? Pa Ben, say what, Miss G? As he walks towards her. Mama, I saw me here. I saw me tell you. Pa Ben repeats it as well. I put it down to say him was concentrating on so hard on him books. Remember how him used to lock up all day, all night a study? 
Most of the times I didn't want to disturb him, so I would keep my distance, Pabin, sitting beside her. I could understand that, but Tim was a little too withdrawn, too quiet. It wasn't natural. Mama, come to think of it, I agree with you. Maybe he over-concentrated on him listen, and his mind was like, Pabin? Pabin, yes, Miss Aggie? Mama, I wonder if the books fly up in him head and, him, and it mad him. Is that? Pabin, come on now, Miss Aggie. Mama repeats Len in articulateness. Ah, why say, Mama? That not the first sign of madness. Pabin, your mind playing tricks on you, Mama. No, nice, quiet, dutiful, loving boy, as she cries. Pabin, think about something else. Don't forget his pa, Zaki, nine night tonight. Mama, is eight days already? Pabin, come, we're going to sing Sanki tonight. He starts singing and dancing. Rice and peas, rice and peas and coconut oil, hard dough bread and Johnny cake. He tries to get her involved in the little singing till she gives in. They sing for a little while till she breaks. Mama, don't feel up to it. Pabin, you must be forgot how Pa Zaki was cantankerous when he was living, quick to take home umbrage at any little slight. Now him dead, him dopey going to be miserable. You better go and pay your respect and give him a good send off. If not, you know him will take a precedence on your doorstep and haunt you for the rest of your days. And anyway, it's a good opportunity to send a message to the boy. Mama, send a message with who? Pa Ben. Pa Zaki. You forgot he was an old time postman. Pa Ben laughs at his jokes. As a matter of fact, I better give him a tot to sweeten him up. He drops a few drops from his bottle to the ground. Mama, Lord Parbin, you're too bad. Take bad things make joke. What I would do without you all the same. Take my mind off the boy. I'm going to tie me and come. She gets up and go into her house. Parbin, yes, I have to go spruce up and sweeten up myself too. He resets the stage, putting the chairs back in place. Pearl is heard calling off. Pearl, Miss J. Pabin, come sweetheart. Pearl, postmistress, send this for Miss G. He takes the letter and examines it. Pearl is curious. Pabin, thank you sweetheart. She goes, Miss Aggie, Miss Aggie, with excitement. Mama, Pabin, what is all the excitement? Pabin, a letter come. Mama, from foreign? Pabin, ear mail, and the king picked up on the stamp. Mama coming out with great speed and in much flutter. Mass Len, holy fathers in heaven, thank you, Jesus. She kisses the letter. You answer me prayer. Pabin, thank you, Zaki. Sprinkling a little of his rum on the ground. Open it now, Miss G. Mama, I too nervous. Open it for me. Handing him back the letter. Why, why, why? Pabin, calm down, calm down. Mama, say his good news. His good news? Him hearty? He remember me? What him say? Me heart. Pabin opens the letters very gingerly. Quick, man. Pabin, a cobbin. Give me a little time. I'm nervous, do you know? He gets it open. Mama, I can't read it. Read it for me, Parben. But you know my eyes dark, Mama. Tell me what it say, Parben. If I had me spectacles, Mama, try and make it out, Parben. All right, make us see. He unfolds the letter. A pound note falls out. Money, Mama. Money, Parben. Him send money, Mama. Where him get money sent for me? Him not working. She puts the money away in her bosom. What him say? Pabin. The right hand corner up the top says at school and date. The left hand corner said, Dear Mama. Pabin. No, mother. Mama. Mother? Go on. Pabin. I am fine. Mama. Praise the Lord. 
Paben. Hope you are well. Mama, I feel better already. Paben. Enclose see a pound sign. One. Busy. Len. Mama. Ay, Miss Hon, remember me. Thank you, Jesus. That's all? He shows it to her. Him don't even ask how you do? For nobody? Him don't tell me not even love? Just Len? Dry so? Paben, him busy, as him say, with him books. Mama, yes, he's that. At least him not dead, Paben. And him send money.